It's a good question. Why would one want to record this uh, very famous, very popular piece? Yet another recording, when there are so many already. Uh, and the thought struck my mind also, why would I do this? But um, after having lived with this music my entire playing life, basically, uh, and <clears throat> having tried it out on, on a, a number of different keyboard instruments, I started off with the piano, of course, when I was young, and then um, added uh, clavichord, harpsichord, fortepiano, and organ. Um, I had this long, long process of, of trying out the music through these different media um, and just realizing that the, you can, you can, uh, the, the pieces show different aspects when you try, try them on different instruments. Um, and that was a process of several years when I played, played the, the entire book one of the Well Tempered Clavier in concert on various instruments. Um, and in the end, uh, I thought, which instrument was giving me the most, um, w w was working in the most exciting way to really try to bring out the contents of the piece. And it turned out it was the clavichord, without a doubt. Um, and since it was Bach's favorite instrument, I feel I'm in a very good company because he's, he, he, uh, that was his preferred instrument. That's where he created his music. And uh, that's where I think you can bring out the entire spectrum um, of these fantastic pieces. So, so I decided to do it on clavichord and um, I had the opportunity to use this wonderful duo clavichord, um, which is built by Joel Spiestra and Per Anders Tanning. It was designed by Joel Spiestra and it's um, like a Siamese twin, but it's based on a uh, Zilbermann instrument, uh, which is then relevant for Bach's time. And, um, this particular instrument, where this was the first ever built, now there are two more built uh, of this type, but this was the first one. Um, when you play it, you have a, a resonance within a much larger body than you usually have when you have a single clavichord. So you get so much resonance in the instrument, uh, also some resonance from the, from the opposite side. Of course, when I'm playing, I'm just playing with the one side, um, at one at a time. Um, but I just felt that this, this was such a fantastic vehicle to bring out the music in a, in a great way. So, um, and there are not so many recordings on clavichord. There are a few. And we have the very early one with Ralph Kirkpatrick, but then a, a few people have done it. Um, so I think there's, there is room for one more. <laughs> Definitely. 